what's going on everyone another simple and quick uh, video for you here today I just wanted to uh, make sure I wasn't leaving anything out when it came to using your Raspberry Pi with uh, an SSD drive or a hard drive so on your Raspberry Pi 4 you can use noobs to use your solid state drive or hard drive or whatever you want USB drive or thumb drive anything like that so with that being said I'm just gonna bring that up and I'm gonna give you the little option where it shows how to do that here so when you first install noobs if you haven't uh, um, if you need an example of how to do that make sure to check out the course that I have on Raspberry Pi for beginners it will have all the steps involved in getting that copied over onto a, a micro SD card for you so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, let me just bring up my video here that I have. So here we go. So when you first install noobs, you're asked this screen here. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and select close on this guy here, uh, which I will do in a moment here. At this point, I am using my Roxio um, screen capture. Uh, and it's it's yeah really delayed so it's taken me a while to get the mouse to where it was because I didn't have the Raspberry Pi plugged into another computer monitor which I should have because then I would have actually been able to see what I was doing so the first thing you do when noobs is starting up you're just gonna go ahead and select your network and then once you do that you're just gonna pop in your Wi-Fi address if you are on a Raspberry Pi that does not have Wi-Fi and you're using Ethernet, you will not have to worry about this step here. This is only for uh, the units that do have uh, Wi-Fi enabled on them and you're not using your Ethernet cable. So I'm just slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. All right, so now we have this set up here. As you can see, I'm just going to try and uh, uh, show you here. Now, in the drop down menu, you have the option to set your destination drive below. And right now, I have just a USB thumb drive in there, and I thought I'd show you it's going to come up as SDA, uh, and that's what you would select to install your operating system on. So you have the option to uh, use a larger drive when you're installing uh, Raspbian Full or whatever other operating system that you're wanting. You don't just have to use the micro SD card that you have installed. So if you're wanting to use USB 3.0 or anything like that, you're going to get more speeds through running it through that versus the micro SD card, depending on your micro SD card and many other little factors and then it will ask you want to format it but right now I don't really want to format it so I just wanted to uh, show you guys here okay so I just wanted a, a little bit of an option for you uh, if you're using a Raspberry Pi image and you're wanting to uh, change the micro SD card to uh, an SSD drive or something like that then you'd use one of the other tutorial methods that I've shown or if you want you can use something like Berry Boot where you can select the drive that you want same as noobs you're able to select that and you're able to run your operating system directly off of it and I think we are a little bit laggy here all right so that's it um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down, whatever works for you. Make sure to subscribe today. We have lots more Raspberry Pi videos coming soon. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?